after you've been on Linux for any length of time at all, you start realizing how annoying dot files are and how much of a pain it's going to be if you ever want to move to a new computer and you want to retain all of your old settings. So today I'm going to look at how I manage my dot files and basically just make my life a little simpler one step at a time. So I think a good place to start is just to define what a dot file is. So if you're not sure, it's basically just the various config files that are everywhere across your Linux computer. So for example, like your bash RC or your vim RC or just various other files, your bash profile, your... So any of these various config files that are in here, these are all your dot files. Basically, they're just any sort of general configuration file that you have for managing your programs and every program has their own config files and they tend to just put them wherever they feel like it luckily right now my home file is still fairly clean i have a few but that's basically just the the simple stuff and there's a couple other things like gtk bookmarks i don't even know what that is to be honest anyway that's not what this video is about this video is about how i manage to store all of them in one place so when I want to move to a new computer, it's not going to be as much for pain. So the way that I handle this is I've got, a, that is the wrong, that is the wrong repo. It is this repo. So I've got this repo called dot files, which is on my GitHub if you want to copy my settings for whatever reason. And basically this is where I've got all the original files. So we've got my original bash RC profile, everything in here. Same with all the config files that I use. I don't have everything copied in here because I don't think there's any point in managing the files that I haven't changed any settings in. If I need to reinstall that program on a, on a uh, new computer, I'm not going to lose anything by just using the default config. But anything that I've made even one line of change to, I've copied into here, and basically this is where I store all of my defaults. So you might have been able to tell already if you've used a Ranger before, but basically what I've been doing is so I've got all of those originals in my repo and then from there the config files that actually are being used on my computer are sim links so if we say delete my profile so the way that you would do that is you do ln dash s and then for whatever you want to make a sim link of you put in the location of that so that is slash dot file slash profile. So you put in the original location of it and then the second argument is where you want the sim link to be. So in this case I want it just to be in my home directory with the name profile. So that will recreate that profile file that was in there. So basically now I just have a link to that file so whenever I change it it's going to automatically change in my repo so whenever I want to push new changes from there. I don't need to worry about copying files back into the repo, which is what I was doing back when I was on Windows, and it was a massive, massive pain, and I don't want to deal with that again. So this is a much simpler way of handling dot files than just copying them in and out of a repo. I know there are probably better ways to do it. I've seen one about a bare repository that DistroTube did a while back, but I haven't set that up myself, and for now, I don't have an, like enough enough config files, enough dot files where I really feel justified actually completely changing my current solution to make it simpler, potentially. I don't know how much simpler it would be. This is a fairly simple solution for me. You just create one sim link and then you're done. You don't have to think about it ever again until you want to move to a new computer. And then I guess I'd have to create like 20 or 30 sim links after that, but that's just a one-time thing. So for me, it's not a, not a big deal at all. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover for this video. It was a fairly short one again. Uh, if you like this style, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon below if you want to see more from my channel. And let me know what you think about me doing this shorter, sort of a short tutorial sort of style. And because I enjoy them, they, they're easy to make and I can get some information out there fairly quickly. So yeah, let me know and I'm out.